Hi there, I'm Pastor Brian, and it's time for Questions from Kids. Chase from Ardmore, Oklahoma asks, Sometimes I get bored at church. How do I know I won't get bored in heaven? Chase, thank you for admitting that. I think we all would have to admit it. There are times where we can get a little bit bored or distracted at church. And sometimes, I think to anticipate your bigger question, sometimes we worry, well, wait a minute, is heaven gonna be just one really long, boring church service? And the answer is no. Uh, first of all, sometimes we get distracted or bored now because our minds just let us down. We, we start thinking about other things or we get impatient. Uh, maybe we didn't come to church ready to worship. And, and so sometimes because we live in a fallen world, that works against us as we try to worship God. In heaven, those things will be no more. Uh, we will have perfected minds and hearts. Uh, we won't be distracted by those things. And so it'll be much easier, of course, for us to do what God created us to do, to worship Him. But here's the other thing. What will heaven be like? Well, this is gonna be a little bit of a complex answer. So when we think of heaven, usually we think of what happens now when people who believe in Jesus die, they go to be with Jesus right away in heaven, as we know. But that's not the end of the story. As we're gonna find out as we keep looking through the book of Revelation, one day Jesus returns and he creates a new heaven on earth and that's where we will live for eternity. Uh, the heaven as we know it now is not where people will be for all of eternity. It would be on the new heaven and earth that Jesus will come to make. That's where we'll spend our time. And we see in scripture some signs of what we're gonna be doing. And it's not just gonna be one long worship service. We'll worship God like we do now, but we also be doing many other things. We get clues of this looking at Genesis where God created the earth for the first time. What did God want Adam and Eve to do? It wasn't just worship him by singing all the time nonstop. It was also worshiping him by working the garden, by having a relationship together and so forth. So we see those clues of what eternity is gonna be like when God returns everything to how it should have been, if not better, we know that we will be doing different things to worship Him. We will serve Him. Uh, we may be working the ground, building things, enjoying community, enjoying one another, the family of faith. So there are many exciting things that we will do to worship God in addition to literally singing in worship and talking to Him in worship and so forth. And even those, as we see in Revelation 4 and 5 this week, are gonna be nothing like what we experience today. They're gonna be amazing. So don't worry about it. Boredom will not happen in eternity. It will be quite an adventure that we can look forward to today. So here's a question back for you. What part of being in heaven are you most looking forward to?